Well, it is April 20th, and as we told you, snow is coming, piling up already in some parts of Northeast Ohio. Meteorologist Matt Standridge was here. It is too late, uh, Matt, for uh, April Fool's Day. <laughs> But if you want to play the joke, you know, 20 days later, I'm not going to not going to hate you. It's, it's all just, good. A terrible delayed joke. And, and Russ, we I, I, you guys have been here for a while, right? And we can get April snows, right? We're not immune to those. But the thing that's different with this snow is that we could get two, three, four inches. That's harder to do this time of year. But tonight we'll probably do it right now. The radar is kind of a mess. A lot of us are getting all different types of precipitation just because our temperatures range quite a bit from right at 32 degrees to some of us are still sitting at 39 degrees. We have a north wind out there, so eventually we are cooling down, but you see some blue on the map that's showing you the snow and the green, of course, the rain and, and sometimes in between you get this mix of some of these half melted snowflakes, but I want to just zoom in a little bit closer for you guys this this evening as we track some of this uh, snow that's starting to move in. If you live very close to the lakeshore, a lot of us, even though it's painting blue with the radar, Still, we're getting that mix of rain and snowflakes, but you get away from the lake and a lot of us transition back over to snow. I've had some ports near near Solon and Shaker Heights and Orange that it's mainly snowfall and it's starting to stick as well. That's been the other big factor with this whole system is trying to figure out how much snow we're going to wake up tomorrow morning and those impacts. Well, the thing is the ground temperatures are pretty warm, right? We've been having some nice days overall for the past month or so when you kind of take all the days and group them together. But with some of these snowfall rates that are coming in, especially just on the southeast side of Cleveland where it's picked up a little bit, we're continuing to watch that potential for it to actually accumulate tonight. And once you can get it to accumulate, then you can add some inches on top. Now, not all of us have gotten some of the precipitation yet. Most of us from Akron towards the west, we're starting to get some of that snow slash a little bit of rain mixing in too. But in Canton, it's probably going to be moving in just a little bit after midnight and then towards Youngstown. It might actually be towards 2 o'clock. This whole system is moving towards the east by about 15 miles per hour, so it's taking its time. Now, as it takes its time, our temperatures are trying to drop. Notice towards the west, Norwalk, Ashland, Mansfield, we're all sitting very close to the freezing mark, if not the freezing mark, but you head eastbound towards Akron and Canton. We're in the mid to upper 30s, so we've got some work to do before we can change over completely to snow, but we are doing that as we speak. Waking up tomorrow morning, what can you expect? I think most of us across Northeast Ohio will have a fresh coating of snow. Some of us a little bit more than a coating, but I think most of us should at least have some sort of coating out there. If you are headed out tomorrow morning, be advised that early morning rush hour could be slick. But as we get past sunrise and you get closer to eight, nine o'clock, a lot of this really starts to go away. And I think as the sun comes out, a lot of it's going to melt and the roads will be actually OK for the rest of the day. It's just that very early morning commute you got to watch out for. It could be slick, but then once again, we get warmer. Here's your snow timeline. The heaviest snow is going to be falling as we're sleeping tonight. By about 6, 7, 8 o'clock, a lot of this starts to taper away. We do have the chance for lake effect snow flurries throughout tomorrow, but those are going to be on and off. The main snow happens tonight. Here's your National and Zymar hour by hour forecast. This is 3 o'clock overnight. A lot of us getting some solid snow tonight. And then overall, the heavier bands push eastbound, and then we're left over. Uh, we're dealing with leftover snow showers for the rest of tomorrow. And I do think we'll be able to get some breaks of sun. If we can do that, we'll warm up into some of the 40s. How much snow can you expect? A lot of us along 71 and towards the west, a solid two inches. Some of us getting closer to the four inch mark towards the south and east Canton, New Philadelphia. It may be just barely over a coating. So the farther west you live and the farther north you live, unless it's right next to the lake shore. If you live right next to the lake shore, it's going to be a little bit harder. Lake Erie's temperatures are in the 40s, so it kind of protects you just a little bit. Here's your union home mortgage 10 day outlook. We're going to be able to warm guys back into the upper 30s, low 40s later tomorrow. That's going to help melt some of the snow. But as you're waking up tomorrow, Guys, we're going to have a fresh coating of snow, Sarah. And it only looks up from there. Oh, All yeah. right, Matt. Thanks so much.